morning grade twos well it is friday you've made it through another week of learning at home great job i'm so proud of you for all your hard work and we are going to finish off today in math continuing to talk about money and we're going to talk about subtracting money okay so we're going to see how much money i've got up here first okay so i've got two toonies i've got a quarter i've got three dimes and i've got two nickels okay so i have four dollars and 60 five cents okay and I want to take away a dollar thirty five okay so let's do this one step at a time let's do my dollars four and if I take away one dollar I would have three dollars now let's do my cents I have 60 cents and I want to take away 30 cents gives me 330 left and then I do five take away my five gives me zero so I would have three dollars and thirty cents left start with my dollars then my tens and then my ones just like we have been doing let's do this next one here where I have seven dollars and sixty cents and I want to take away two dollars and 25 cents i love spending that money so let's see how much i would have left we're going to start with our dollars seven dollars take away my two dollars gives me five dollars okay now this one if we do the tens and the ones you'll notice i don't have any ones in this so we're going to think of 60 and we're going to think of taking away 25 from it okay so we can think of 60 take away the two is going to give me 40 cents but i still have to take away five so let's count back from 40 by five that gives me 35 okay and as you can see we can get into one that we might think that it would be a good idea to stack so if you noticed i didn't have enough ones to take away the five that i can think about stacking it or if you can think of the number as 60 take away 25 then you can get 35 but you are welcome to be stacking them and we're going to do one together where if you see that you can't do it mentally in easy steps that you can always stack them so i can think of seven dollars and 15 cents and if i want to take away two dollars and 59 cents i can stack them writing the dollar sign keeping the decimal keeping them all lined up just like we've been doing in the classroom make sure you line up your ones and your tens line everything all up all your cents and your dollars get them all lined up so that you can subtract them okay so if you are ever thinking i can't do this mentally okay you can always stack them okay when you don't have enough um and that you can always stack so five take away nine i can't do that i need more ones so i'm going to trade in one of my tens and i'd have zero tens left and if i add a ten to my five i'd have 15 take away nine equals six i have zero take away five now so i'm going to cross my seven out right as six and now i'd have ten cents take away five since then i would have five left i'm going to write my decimal here six take away two is going to leave me with four dollars and sixty five cents okay four dollars and fifty six cents sorry i said sixty five four dollars and fifty six cents so you can always stack them even though it's money you can always stack them if you need to for your subtraction okay and for today's work, you're going to do two pages. You're going to do exercise 36 on this page. Most of these you could probably do mentally, but again, if you don't really see how that you're able to do that, you can always stack them, but give them a whirl, see if you can do them mentally. And then exercise 37 are some for you to practice when they are stacked. And you are going to write the name of the insect. So as you find the answer, write the letter in the box and you'll end up with the name of that insect. Okay, so do these two pages today and I hope you have a wonderful weekend.